What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. If you hear noise in the background, it's either construction or my cat, both of which have been causing all sorts of mayhem for the past like couple of weeks, I must say. Actually, the cat has been creating mayhem for like her entire life and she's seven years old, so <sighs> no respect. You got no respect for me. I see how it is. Let's open a box. This box is from Premium Bandai. It's my most recent haul. It includes things from Sailor Moon. I'm really excited to open it because there are some really cute things in here that I couldn't wait to show you. So let's go ahead and break into it. Okay, so I won't lie. Some of these things are not actually Premium Bandai. They're from different websites, but I always use a website or a proxy called From Japan for online orders. And then if From Japan doesn't work, I usually use Tenso. Uh, so I will go ahead and start with these, my little squishy things. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. My cats are gonna hate me and I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I ordered some items from Petio, which makes cat items uh, like this really cute little plushie that's actually rather large. I don't know if catnip's in it, but I sure hope that there is catnip in it. I really hope there is because my cats don't give two shits about things that don't have catnip in them. So uh, here you go, Starbuck, try it out. Um, I also got my cat a, is this Velcro? Oh good, it's Velcro. It's a Sailor Moon Fuku for her to wear. She's going to hate me, I tell you. Like she's not going to enjoy this at all, but I will enjoy putting it on her. So that will be really fun. This is Velcro though, so you don't have to like squeeze their neck or anything like that, but it looks like a cape. It's basically a cape. I'll either put it on Luna or Starbuck and see how they like it. <laughs> Pretty sure she hates me right now. <laughs> Luna, you are so freaking cute. <laughs> oh, good girl. <laughs> Oh, Luna. Y'all, she hates it. Okay, I'll take it off. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, baby. Oh, good girl. Yeah, good girl. Well, you don't hate it that much. That's good. You're gonna play with that bow and destroy it, I'm sure. I actually think my cats will like this last item from Petio. It is basically a stick with a string attached to it. They love sticks with strings attached to them. Uh, this is basically just like a shoestring, <laughs> pretty much. There is a ball at the end of it, so it makes noise. And it has little Luna prints all over it. So I will try that out and I will let you know if my cats actually play with the stick. Good girl, Luna. Good girl, Luna. <laughs> Good girl. too big for you, huh? Yeah, it's too big. She doesn't like the moonstick. She likes the string, though. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of the Anna Sui collaborations that come out of Isatan, so I didn't get much from this collab, honestly. I was really looking forward to Samantha Tiara, Samantha Vega type purses and wallets, which we did just get an announcement on June 30th on Usagi's birthday that they are doing a collaboration with the purse line again. Thank God, but I did get a few things from the Anna Sui collaboration with Isatan. So those include, why do I have so many of these bags? Okay, so I got four Sailor Moon Isaton collaboration drawstring bags. I guess I need to do another giveaway or something because I do not need this many bags. Why'd they put four in there? Good lord. All right. Thanks. 
I also decided to get these really cute wash towels. There are three of them. There's a little trio. Uh, first I'll show you Diana, which comes on a lavender colored wash towel. Uh, this is like a hand wash towel, but it has a pocket in it. So you could like put your hand on it and wash your face or something. I'm not really sure why there's a pocket to be honest, but it folds over. It looks kind of like a wallet almost, but it's a hand towel. It's really cute. And it has this beautiful design of Diana on it with some really pretty gold shimmery thread. And then of course she's a really, really bright color and she's got purple roses down at the bottom. On the back we have the Anna Sui logo with the butterfly. Very cute. And then on the inside there's a pattern of butterflies and little cat silhouette heads. So adorable. You see the same cat silhouette heads with butterfly pattern on the inside of both the Luna and Artemis versions of these washcloths as well. The Luna one comes in purple, also has the Anusui brand on the back, and this one also has a really pretty gold shimmery thread that they used for it. She has, and I love the Luna one because she has little wings, like little butterfly wings on the back. So cute. The Artemis one, same thing. This one is on a black fra fabric and then it makes Artemis stand out really well. And instead of him having wings, he has a little butterfly on his tail. So really, really cute hand towels. I love collecting hand towels, so I was like, I have to have all three of those. They're my favorite thing out of the entire collaboration. I think I also got a couple of like ceramic things, but those were pre-orders and I don't know when they ship. So we'll find out eventually. Ooh, this is big, way bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, so this next item, which I took all the package material out of to show you, uh, this is also from the Anna Sui collaboration and this is for your hair straightener or your hair curler uh, because those things are super hot and you don't want to stick them inside of something that would melt. So this is a thermal protectant type of bag that is made specifically for those kind of uh, electronic products. So on the front of it, I just decided to go with, I think this is like the Artemis print because it is white. It has a pink zipper on the top and then it has little white ears and a little gold crescent moon with the same gold thread that we saw in the last one. And then on the back we have Anna Sui and then it has the little silhouette of a Luna cat and the butterfly. The inside of it is just a simple silver thermal protectant bag lining and there's also a little pocket. I guess you could put like a hairbrush or a comb or something like that in the pocket. This will probably fit all of my hair stuff inside of it just alone because it is rather long. It's a lot bigger than I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be a little bit smaller, but I guess at that point it will fit. It could probably fit actually both my hair straightener and my curling iron in one bag. So that would be really useful. I travel a lot and I wanted this because it was useful to me. Oh my God, open. So much packaging material. Ugh. Okay, so this is from the Premium Bandai website. It says 25th anniversary. It's got the Sailor Moon logo on the front. This is another collaboration. I forget the name of the collaboration. Chaco? Maybe it's Chaco. But they did a collaboration of really cute little floral earrings that are based on the colors of the inner Sailor Senshi. So I got the Sailor Moon ones. Ah, uh, no, I got the wrong kind. Um, but these were supposed to be pierced earrings, not snap closure ones. Maybe I can just replace them. I might be able to do that. But these are based off Sailor Moon's color. They are floral with cute little white, I don't know, white pollen -y type things at the bottom of them. Cute little earrings. I thought they were precious. And they're very dainty, but big at the same time, if you know what I mean. They're lightweight, so they won't like weigh you down or anything. Cute earrings disappointed that I got the wrong kind. I know I ordered the right type, so I feel like I feel like Premium Bandai sent out the wrong ones. Maybe they just assumed I wanted non-pierced versions of earrings, but I have pierced ears because, you know, I know it's a Japanese brand. I got two of these. These are just very simple embroidered stickers. They're really cute. I thought they were adorable, so I wanted to buy them, so I got two of them. I'm a little bit worried about this next item because I saw Sailor Samara post about it as well as somebody else, one of which said that their packaging was broken, broken and the other person said that the actual item was broken. I think it was Tiffany or Sailor Moon Addiction. I don't remember who posted that theirs actually broke. So this is the antique style clip case. 
It's the Serenity Crystal Tiara version. There have been a couple of antique style clip cases in the past for Sailor Moon. I believe they did one with uh, Helios's item as well as the Holy Grail. Maybe, don't quote me on that. This is the first one though that I decided to own. So I'm gonna open it, see if the packaging is broken, see if the item is broken. I'm a little bit worried that one of them will be, but we'll see. I'm not as worried about the packaging as I am about the product itself, because I usually take my items out of the packaging anyway. It's definitely got plenty of packaging on it. Oh, this is really pretty in person, wow. Okay, so it comes with some really cute like Fuku bow clips, which you can store inside of here. The actual item, it looks like mine came in perfectly working order, so yay! Yay! All right, cool. This is way prettier in person than I thought it was going to be. And it's heavy too. It's very, very heavy. So the bottom has a felt bottom to it so it won't scratch any surfaces. There's a bunch of really cute little fake pearls around the edges, just like Serenity's crown. And then we do have some really pretty sparkly red gems as well as some pink gems. And the whole thing is gold, just like her crown would be. There's a little padded pillow up at the top. I don't know what you would actually use it for, but it's really cute. It's a nice little design and it is glued on there. It's not gonna go anywhere. And when you open the case, it just has enough room for the clips, which you store right inside. Ta-da, like so. The inside of it has a very, very nice pearlescent sheen to it. It looks like they used, I don't know, resin or something like that and mixed it up to give it this really nice pearl sheen. Very, very pretty and it actually does come in a really nice box too. The box does have padding on the inside with some cloth, some really pretty satin cloth. And the front of it is in gold foil and it says Serenity Crystal Tiara. I will bestow a new power upon you from this place here. So I'm gonna put that back in its box for now until I have time to find a place where I can actually store it. This is another pair of really cute petite chattas from Megatree Shop. Don't know. Oh yeah, I remember these. Yay! So excited about these. They're so cute. Okay, so these are the uh, kimono or yukata style of Usagi and Chibi Moon for the yukata collection. These are actually based on the real life yukatas that you could purchase from the Sailor Moon store. So if you wanted to, you could get a matching petite chara based on the same kind of yukata, which is really cute. Uh, these are the only ones that feature yukatas that kind of have an ombre effect to them. They go from one color to another. Very, very pretty. I'm probably gonna have to put them together. They also come with their own little stand, and the stand looks kind of like the store window at the Sailor Moon store, and it features the five yukata that you could purchase from the Sailor Moon store. Oh, sweet, I don't have to put them together. Hooray, I love it when I don't have to put them together. That's great. Okay, so first we have Usagi, and she is wearing a lavender and teal colored yukata. She has her cute little sandals on, and she has a little Usagi bunny a fan in her hand and she does have a really cute little pearlescent sheened bow with a little rose in it on one of her odongos. Her stand is pink, it's a solid pink with a little bunny on it and some stars in silver. And then we have Chibi Moon. So Chibi Moon, she has a pink and purple colored yukata. She's holding some ice cream in her hand, which is making me really hungry because I didn't have much for lunch. And uh, it looks like she has a little blue and pink styled bow in her hair, just like the one from Sailor Moon. So on her stand, we have solid purple and it features Luna, a silhouette of Luna, and then some moons on it. So that's it for those two. Very, very simple, really cute. Okay, so I won't lie, I don't remember what this is. Oh, yes I do, I remember what this is. This is the non-Pretty Guardians version of a little washi tape holder. This washi tape holder came in three different colors. White for the Pretty Guardians fan club version. Then there was black and purple, which you could get from the premium Bandai store. I went with purple. Did I say purple? Pink. It's pink. I went with the pink one, mostly because I really like the washi tapes that came with the pink one. Each of them came with one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten different washi tape styles. There's five really skinny ones, and then there's five uh, full-size washi tape ones. None of these are extra large though, and I know you can get extra large ones too. So the washi tapes with the pink one include the Inner Sailor Senshi, uh, just, you know, in their normal poses, and then it has their names next to them. So we have Super, Sailor, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, and Sailor Moon. The second one features Super Chibi Moon with an outline of Helios in the background. The third one is Princess Serenity, and it's on a yellow washi tape, so it matches her hair. Then we have one that features all of the Senshi wands and their symbols. The next one looks like it almost it's anime, but it has um, like comic type of bubbles. And then it says, let's see, Oshiokyo. Yeah. So it has her normal saying that she says right after she transforms. And then we have the five skinny ones, which feature cute little icons from the anime. So those end up going on. So here's the stand right here. It does feature two different uh, little sticks that you can use to hang the washi tapes on. And then you can use this front piece right here, which is serrated, to actually tear the washi tapes. So it's kind of like, it's a tape holder, basically. Uh, really pretty, and it looks like it has plenty of room if you want to collect a bunch of washi tapes, which I probably will. <laughs> I might end up getting the other one, the black one too, because this is really, really cute. Maybe I'll fr ask my friend to order the white one too, because I couldn't order the white one. Uh, through my account because it you had to go through like the premium Bandai secret store which for some reason won't ship to me but he can he's done it before so maybe I'll have him do that so you can pretty much stick these sticks anywhere you want but it does have directions on a little piece of paper that came with it so you slide the washi tapes on there and then you put it onto the tape holder like so that is so cute I love stationary items all right all that's left now is my cute little new items that were out of gacha pans. Yay! So these are the new twinkle dolls. I think that's what they're called, or twinkle statues, something like that. They did just announce that there's going to be a second line of these twinkle statues, and those are going to feature Princess Serenity, Venus, and Jupiter. So they are continuing the line, which is great, because these are super, super cute. However, a lot of people have said they've had trouble putting them together because they're not quite perfect as far as putting them on the stands and putting their hair, you know, into their head and putting their head on the bodies and stuff like that. So these are a little, they're kind of like petite charas, but not as good quality. So each of them do come in these cute little star-shaped pokeballs. <laughs> uh, and then you just open them to actually get to your item. These are currently pretty inexpensive. If you aren't in Japan, you can generally find them on eBay for a decent price. However, I was able to get all three of these for 700 yen, which is about seven bucks. Okay, so I will show you a close up of what each of these look like once I get them out of their packaging. But uh, they do look really, really cute. It does look like it's a little tough to put their hair inside their heads with the little the little holes that are available there to actually put them together. So that might be kind of a pain, but but otherwise they do look really cute. Uh, make sure that if you do purchase one of these, you don't throw away the ball because that is their stand. So in order for them to actually stand up, you do need to keep the ball. So these are very cute. I do like the stances that they are in. Um, you can tell there are some paint defects on them, like the paint might not be perfect, it might not line up exactly, but again, these are very, very inexpensive. They're gachapon machine toys, which I generally don't collect because those are lower quality. So let me know what you think of these items. I'm super excited to play with the items with my cat. I hope that she enjoys the items from Petio. I love the tape dispenser, and I think the little twinkle statues are adorable, but so is the petite char. I don't know. Which one is your favorite item? I would love to know. Answer below in the comments and let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Jenny.